la 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 Hello everybody, so today I have a video that a lot of you guys have been asking about and I said I wouldn't make a video on this but I decided what the hell I'll make a video on it because all of you guys wanted it and I don't really have a reason for keeping it secret anymore because the project that I was using it on that was supposed to be keeping it secret kind of died so now that that project is dead there's really no reason for me to keep it secret anymore so today I'll be showing you guys how to make menus and GUIs so if you saw my video a while back you'll know that I made GUIs like this as you can see but so um, I'll show you how to make these and they work best if you're in uh, survival mode but they do work in creative mode as well it's just a little bit better in survival so when you come over here and open this as you can see there's option so we click this and option 2 bring you into another menu and this is option 4 and then so we can click that and it runs the command block of stone placed three blocks above you and then it says at P we look up there's a block of stone Let's do it again come over here okay and so now if we go into this option as you can see this was executed without closing the menu so we can also do commands like that so I'll be showing you first how to get the menu to open the menu changing and then having multiple different options menu changing and then commands executed with closing the menu and then commands executed without closing the menu so it's actually a very simple system and this menu that I made only uses this amount of command blocks those are just four scoreboards so I'll warn you now that this was actually made or designed to work in 1.8 and in versions that didn't have scoreboard tags. So that's why there's a lack of the use of scoreboard tags in this, but this is actually an optimized version of the one that I made a video on before because the other one was laggy. And this system can also be used to create menus and GUIs quote unquote inside of entities and mobs similar to that found on Mindplex. I'll leave a link in the description of a video that I made a while back. It uses basically this exact same system and I actually created the mob GUI version first and then optimized the player GUI version. So I left signs on all of these command blocks and I will be leaving a world download in the description so that you can take this and basically make it into whatever you want. So this is just giving the, uh, the item that we're using in this example. So it's just a potion with a display name of menu. This can be anything and I recommend setting custom MBT. I have a video on using pseudo MBT for, uh, for this kind of thing because right now someone could just rename a potion menu and get it to work. So this is the part that summons the uh, minecart menu. Yes, it uses minecarts. Uh, a lot of you actually guessed that, but what you didn't guess is how I made them invisible. And so I will show how that happens. So this handles the clicking of the item, so the menu selection. This handles the screens, and this handles the commands that run with the menu closing. So I've labeled all of these, and I've split it up into neat little sections just so that we can get a better understanding. So this is just a blank command block, as I believe this one is. No, this isn't a blank command block. Okay. So this is just a bank blank repeating command block, and this sets a score to zero, and this just sets a score to one. This can be replaced with scoreboard tags, obviously. So just potion hold one. And I'll actually run over here and show these scoreboards first. So there's a potion hold dummy, then there's an interface dummy, then there's a pot menu dummy, which is, I'm just using potions for this example. Then this one's blank, my bad. So this just adds a scoreboard called PMG, which stands for potion menu grab, and these just all do different ones as well. And then this is menu close. All right. So right here, this just sets the score to 1 if you're holding it and sets it to uh, 0 if you aren't. So this controls the Iman card's position. So this will execute at all players who have a potion hold minimum of 1 to teleport all mine carts named menu in a radius of 1 count of 1 to the nearest player. So this also controls the Iman card's position. So this then also teleports it up by 1.2 blocks 
so that it's not in the feet, but it's at your player head, which is directly in the player head. So this summons the uh, the menu. So this uh, scoreboard player set at a uh, potion hold one uh, pop menu equals zero to potion menu one if they have a selected item of a potion. This can obviously be changed. This is all just stuff for examples. So if we come over here, this actually summons it. So execute at all players who have a potion hold minimum of one and a pot menu underscore uh, equals one to summon the minecart chest who's invulnerable and has these items. So this is just a potion inside of the minecart. You know, just very simple stuff. And it has a display tile of air. So that's how I got it to not display the chest but I'll get into how I made it completely invisible in a second. So this will then just set all players who have a potion, who have a pop menu score of one to pop menu score of two, so that it doesn't continue to summon the, uh, the minecart, so it only summons it once. So this then will remove the minecart by executing at all players who have a potion hold score of zero to teleport it down by 500 blocks, so it's just into the void. These just resets the scores, blah blah blah, score resets. And this will fix a minecart bug, so if you have it and you run, then it will possibly fall depending on server lag and such. And so this will then just teleport it down, as you can see. So if it's on the ground, it teleports it down because it adds a scoreboard tag. If it's on ground, it's set to 1B. And this right here is very important. It sets its motion to be zero, uh, to be zeros in all positions because if this wasn't here, then the minecart would actually... Here, I'll go ahead and F3 plus B. F3B. As you can see, there it is. And if we didn't have this, so if I set this there then it would fall just like that so that's why this is here to keep it not falling basically removes its gravity and as you can see i ran away and it fell so that's how the summoning of the menu works so this is handling the clicking of the items so right here this is uh adding uh the minecart chest to interface score of zero so it'll always have an interface score of zero and this is how we handle menus and pages and such so this then adds all players to pmg score of zero so you have a score of zero this is very important then this will execute at all players to set the stats success count to their pmg score so this will just execute at all players stats entity at p which is the executing player set success count at p which is the executing player pmg so now, this will execute at all players to clear at P potion with the display name of option. And it's very important that it goes in this row, in this order. So add zero, do stats, and then clear. And then this is how we detect if a item was clicked inside of the menu. So if, the, if it's cleared, then the success count is one, and it'll set your PMG score to one. And so right here, this will execute at all players who have a PMG score of 1 to set the menu that's closest to them to have an interface score of 1. So basically that's all this does is when you click this, it will clear it and then it'll set the menu to 1, as you can see. And this is why it works best in survival mode because as you can see it didn't clear this item but it actually did clear this is just a ghost item as you can see now it's gone so it's just a weird little bug that happens and this is just repeated throughout so pmg score 2 and then executed all players success count pmg score 2 and then it's set to re uh, remove potion 2 and now we just set it to interface 2 so this would be this one and so now we change it, and now it has an interface score of 2, and so now it has this option. So there we go. And it killed the command, uh, the minecart. So this is a potion menu grab 3. This is it's the same stuff. 
same stuff. And so now this was a say command, obviously. And now PMG4 is how we do uh, closing the menu as well. So as you can see, this uh, just clears the item and all that. And so then this will set all players who have a PMG4 score, minimal of one, to menu close one. And this is important because the tick right after this is set to one, it sets it to zero again. So if I had this as a say command and then I had a another P uh, execute at, at a PMG4 minimum of one, it wouldn't work. It'll only do it once. So we have to set it to another score to carry it on. And that's where this comes in. So right here, if you have a menu close score of exactly one, it'll set block one, uh, three blocks above you stone, and then it'll do a say command. And then this is just blank examples for how to keep it going, blah, 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 blah. This is just for, you know, example stuff. And then at the very end, these last two must always be at the very end of the row, so you have to move them. This will execute at all players, so a menu score close minimum of one, and it will teleport the chest down, or the minecart chest, down into the void, and then it'll set your menu close score to zero. And so now right here, this just handles the uh, the menus for the uh, minecart. So this will execute that E, name equals menu, interface score, uh, minimum of one and equals one, so it's exactly one. And this just edits the uh, the slots and the items and such. And that's how we handle menus. So this is in no way uh, a perfect, this is just an example that I quickly threw together for, uh, for a project that I, I've been working on with some guys. But we decided that we weren't really going to be using this in that project. So this world was made for another one of the guys. But again, he's not going to be using it, so I guess I'll go ahead and just put it up for download. So you can use this to basically make any kind of menu you want, and it can support all kinds of things. It'll look really good if you, for example, instead of just having it as a menu right here, you can name it something fancy with like color codes and all kinds of stuff, and you can get really fancy with this. But so now, for how I made it completely invisible, it's very simple. I used a resource pack and just removed the texture. Um, I didn't see a single comment that actually mentioned that in the original video, and you guys were so close. Uh, some of you guessed that um, that I was using a resource pack for something, but I think I saw one person say that I used a resource pack to remove the chest, but he couldn't figure out how I made the minecart itself invisible. Um, I saw some people uh, guess that it was a minecart, and yes, that, that was correct. But no one actually guessed how I made it invisible. And so that's how. I just went in and um, I didn't remove the texture because if you remove the texture, then it'll do the uh, the missing texture thing. But I went in and just made it a blank PNG file with no texture in it. And that's how I got it to be invisible. So it's not really good for a lot of stuff because that will remove the texture for all my carts. As you can see, if I take this and this and this and as you can see if I come right here see it's invisible and it's invisible that's how I did that so yeah there's a couple of issues with it but that's basically how you do it how you make menus in vanilla just like this and again I'll leave an example in the description of how you can add this to entities like zombies and skeletons and stuff to make quote unquote entity menus like those seen on servers like Mineplex and Hypixel and stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is one of my most requested videos. So I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye. They say that life's too short to waste time. I don't know if it's the truth. I heard it through the grapevine. So I'ma flash a smile and have a great ride on the road to success while I'm closing my eyes.